Hi, welcome to Avocet Math. In this video, we're going to look at one of the problems from our set of AMC 12 counting problems, and let's see what we have. Toothpicks of equal length are used to build a rectangular grid as shown below. If the grid is 20 toothpicks high and 10 toothpicks wide, then the number of toothpicks used is. And this is one of the simpler problems from the AMC 12, so there are probably a couple of ways to count this. Uh, the first way that occurred to me when I first saw this problem was that I picked out that uh, each of these vertices is accompanied by two toothpicks to the above and to the left of each of these vertices. So we can basically count up the number of toothpicks by counting the number of these vertices. And we basically have uh, a grid of vertices that is 10 wide by 20 tall. So that's uh, 10 by 20 and two toothpicks for each vertice. So that's a total of 400. And we just have to pick up the toothpicks that don't get counted in this process. And that amounts to 20 toothpicks on the left and 10 toothpicks on the, uh, on the uh, top edge for a total of 430. And that's choice E. Now, another way to uh, approach this problem is to take a look at this in the, uh, in the view of, uh, of trying to count this as a, a subset problem and to consider the number of toothpicks as a set and look for an opportunity to divide this set into two parts and perhaps it might be easier to count these two separate parts and add them together to form the total set. An example of that might be if you were interested in counting the number of children in a classroom and if the children have to be running around like maniacs it might be easier to count the number of girls and the number of boys, and then add the two sets together to form the total number of students in the class. In a similar way, we could sort of recognize that these two tooth these toothpicks come in two different flavors. Uh, we can identify toothpicks that are horizontal and toothpicks that are vertical. And that might actually form a useful set of uh, subsets in order to form the total set of toothpicks. So in the case of the horizontal toothpicks, we notice that we have a grid of 10 toothpicks by 21 rows. So that's 10 by 21, which equals to 210. And for the vertical toothpicks, we have columns that are 20 toothpicks each, and we have 11 such columns. So that's 11 by 20, and that's 220. And that counts all the toothpicks. There's nothing left over. The set of horizontal plus vertical toothpicks are non-overlapping, and they complete the entire set of toothpicks. So we simply have to add these two numbers together to form our total sum of 430, which again agrees with choice E. Anyway, it's a simple problem, but it's uh, useful to see how many different ways you can count these, and also to recognize this is a very uh, opportune problem to divide our count into two subsets and to count it that way. So anyway, hope that was clear, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.